Hello and welcome to Thugs Nights at Thomas's Rewailed 3. Or Thugs Nights at Thomas's 3 Rewailed. But today I'm going to be doing the Night 1 and 2. Thomas's Pizza Railway. After their latest refurbishment, Thomas's Pizza Railway. Pizza Railway is finally ready to reopen its doors. To anyone interested, they are also looking for people to hire. Specifically as a night guard, what could go wrong? Ten, ten dollars a week. Yeah. So. Okay, so basically I have a rechargeable coal furnace, which I can use to recharge the flask my, unlike in the original Farm Nights at Thomas's where it was, where it was a coal generator that could overheat. But yeah, this definitely makes the game simpler, because... Because of the fact that the generator cannot overheat and result in the... Dying. Hi there. Anyways, I noticed the return of the 3D models, which is pretty cool. And all the and all the trains go away when you put the light. And all the trains go away when you put the light on them. Coolio. Anyways, that's me. That's another YouTuber. Pretty so. And I'm pretty sure those two are other YouTubers, but I'm not sure. Anyways, here's the generator. And yeah, it seems like Percy and James are active tonight, and they're pretty easy to avoid because you just put the light on them and they'll go away. Also, there's no cold generator, so recharging the flash light is way easier since since your cold generator can, can no longer... Uh, okay, not cold generator, but, but your flash light power source can no longer overheat and stop working because you keep it on too long because all you have to do in this game is just click on the coal generator well the coal glass light power source now i don't know what thomas does Okay, so I don't know what Thomas does, but it seems like he doesn't move on this night. Pretty sure I'm gonna see him active on the other night. 
and yeah, in the original Four Nights at Thomas's Three, this Thomas, uh, well, the new Thomas did not move at all. And just... Yeah, in the original Four Nights at Thomas's Three, Thomas did not move at all. A lump. I don't. I don't know what he did. My guess is that he had something to do with the coal generator, and I'm pretty sure if it overheats, then he'll come and get you. Or maybe if you turned off the lights as well. But this is the easiest. Yeah, 6 a.m. Yeah. It's a relatively easy night, since it's the first night. The next night, I'm gonna get a, a listenable phone call. Yeah. Well, hello there. Ah, you don't know who I am. Okay, I'm Chuck's cousin. He told me to leave you this message because he thought it was horrible that you couldn't understand him. So I'm just gonna say what he wanted to tell you last night. Welcome to the newly refurbished Tom's Pizza Railway. We have made some easy improvements to enhance the experience our customers have when coming here. The Tom's Pizza Railway. We were able to effort this re refurbishment by selling a lot of stuff like our security doors. One of my, one of the improvements we got as a result of this was being able to buy a generator, which means. We were finally able to get rid of that call generator, which when we did sell it, we got more money and then we were able to buy more cameras and then even change up the building a little bit. Now an important thing to say is that the engines move at night. Now we have been able to afford money to fix this only with one train though. Thomas, the new, not the old one, which means all the other characters are still going to move around. Don't worry, I have found a great counter this. So it's we have a generator. Now we have to turn off the lights at night for obvious budget reasons. This is great for you, however, since you have a flashlight, if the engines go near your office, just shine your light at their eyes and they'll leave. As easy as that. That's all I have for you. Wish you a good night. Okay, well that's all you want me to tell you for now. This text is horrible. Good luck and have fun. Okay, so... Fun fact, I could actually understand some of Chuck's phone call. And he was... And the word that I heard from the phone call is that... Quote unquote. If the coal generator overheats, I don't know what would happen. Yeah, about that. Yeah, something along the lines of that. Anyways, it seems like the older Thomas is moving. But luckily, the new Thomas doesn't move at all. And he just stays there. So I don't have to worry about him. Hi. Why do f- I'm pretty sure he- But I'm pretty sure in the, in the original Five Nights at Thomas's tree, he was an affair. Although I didn't see him move, we probably had to do something with, along with the coal generator. And, and I'm pretty sure that if you leave it on for too long, he'll come and. And it's basically that he'll kill you if it's on. Well, if it overheats. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure Thomas kill. Yeah, I'm pretty sure new Thomas kills you when you pump the coal generator and it overheats. Yeah. Cool. 
Codex Chrome. Well, the Thomas is pretty easy to deal with. Yeah, the old Thomas is pretty easy to deal with. As in, he's just an enemy in the hallway. And he's pretty easy to see. Unlike in the Bonites that Thomas is too re-railed. Where you could barely see him. And he will... And he... And that he was a large threat. Wait then. Yeah, 6 a.m. again. Anyways, I hope you like this episode. Goodbye. Yeah, bye. I'll see you in the next episode. And peace. But yeah, so far this is a pretty good re recreation of Final Fantasy that Thomas is free. Even though it's even though it's quite a bit, even though it's quite a bit more easier than the original because of the removal of the coal generator and its overheating function and that the, and that the trains go away when you flash them with the light instantly, unlike in the original game where they take some time to Go away from your office. Anyways. And I also like the return of the 3D models in the game. Because they were pretty cool. And I actually like that. Because in the second game of... Well, Fun Nights at Thomas is too railed. They used 2D models because the creator apparently wasn't able to create 3D models for that game. But he did create 3D models for the first Fun Nights at Thomas is railed game. Speaking of the first Fun Nights at Thomas is railed. I might do the Golden Knight. Yeah, I might actually do the Golden Knight. After I beat Fun Nights at Thomas's 3 Way Rail. Or at least. Or probably. During the series, but that's pretty unlikely. Anyways, goodbye. Yeah. Anyways, the, the pizza where. Anyways, the pizza where is out in the desert. So I guess that's why they only give out ten dollars a week because there's because because the customer because the customers have to go on a hard and strenuous journey in order to get to a pizzeria. Anyways, bye.